uh, just a little walkthrough again so let's see what's going on here in the shop and check it all out, right? Okay, so here we go. So the 72 Chevy pickup. This is the custom built frame. Well, I shouldn't say that. The frame is all original in the front, but you can see where you can see down there. It's been cut, dropped in, welded in, changed back in here. There you go. Um, now you might be wrong. The exhaust is not dumping out there. If you remember correctly, we got um, pipes that go on there, and we've we've got the holes that come through the box. It's gonna look gorgeous. Big block in it. You know. Yes, it's on air. I mean, the thing just sits on the ground. Well, that's what's going on there. And we got the CUDA up on the hoist. By the way, if you are asking, some of you are asking, the frame has all been blasted and powder coated. If you're wondering about that, we had that powder coated. CUDA, as you can see, the engine bay's been painted. She's up in the air, engine is in it. Got some Hotchkiss suspension underneath there. You know, it's coming along really nice. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's always hard to film underneath. Everything's done. Differential's rebuilt. Posi. All the goodies. New gas tank in the back. Wiring's getting ran. Leaf springs, bushings, control lines, ball joints. You name it, it's done. It is done. Now, then we've got the 56 over here Chevy pickup. We've got the box that we've made this custom tonneau cover for. It's gonna be wrapped in upholstery. I can't open it and film at the same time, but it's on hydraulic things. It just pops open. It's gonna have like a little key latch here. You open it, you pull it up, and boom, just opens on its own. Gotta cut it out for the tail lights right there. That's next going on. Got the roll pan in there like you saw a while back, tailgate welded in, so it's like, you know, you're not really, uh, you're not hauling nothing in this truck. This truck's only hauling ass, that's about it. So I guess the main shop here is full of nothing but performance and high performance. A lot of horsepower coming out of this shop here today. So that's what's going on. Um, what else can I show you? Let's take a look here. Let's take a wander around. Things are a bit of a mess. This is just a little update for you guys. Keep you all posted of what's going on. Okay, yes, there's the 58 Ford. Everyone's always asking me, Rick, is your 58 Ford? It's sitting right here. Drive it every day. Drive it every damn day. Look at, she's filthy, she's dirty, she's sitting up in the rain. That's what it's meant for. Ain't no trailer queens in this yard. And if there is, they aren't mine. The box there for Big Red, that's the new box I had picked up. Well, new used, but look at it. The thing is rust free. So, that's there. We're gonna do, we're doing videos on this car as we go along the Camaro. If you remember, I did all the the dashboard and down on the cowl you've seen some videos well there we go we're cutting the, the floor I've been cutting away the floor and uh, old George Billy he follows me lots he commented and he said you know people never realize how long it takes to cut metal out they just think when you cut metal out you just cut it out five minutes and you're done it's not that easy because everything as you can see you can see it was all spot welded everywhere you have to drill all the spot welds out Get it off of there properly. Then once you get it off, you got all this bracing in behind that you got to deal with that could be rusted out. So there's a lot of hidden stuff and a lot of work to just, you know, you don't, you're not just chopping something apart that quick. I mean, I still got to cut this section out over here. But anyway, working away on that. The latest and greatest and newest addition to the shop is coming along quite fine. There you go, right there. Yes. That area there is 24 by 18, I believe. So that's going to be quite the... Uh, you know, just a little storage area. But we're trying to tidy up around here, get shit cleaned up, tidied up, go through it all. So that's it. Oh, you see there's Black Betty. Black Betty's all turned around over there. She's looking pretty, uh, she's looking pretty um, dirty and filthy. Ready to do some burnouts. So that's it, guys. So there you go, a little bit of an update. Like I say, thanks for watching Old Time Garage on Facebook, on Instagram under Rick's underscore Old Time Garage. We're everywhere out there. Obviously we're here on YouTube. I wanna thank all you guys for subscribing. I will be getting some new t-shirts and shit made up for sure for the fall and some old ones redone, okay? So that's it, so hey, it's a weekend. Get out there, drink a beer, work in the shop. That's it, or go spend some time with your family. Okay, remember, it's always a good time at Old Time. See you later.